Hi, in this presentation, I'll just tell you a little bit about the Higher Education Learner Programme. This is a new online programme that's available to all SETU students. And basically the idea behind it is that when you're in university, you learn two distinctive skill sets. So you learn the knowledge through your programme that's going to prepare you for the field that you've chosen. But you also then need to learn a whole set of other skills to help you complete the programme. So all the study skills that you need to organise your time and your resources, to do presentations, group work, academic writing, referencing exams and so on. So that's really where help comes in. Um, so what we did was we went out and we had focus groups and surveys with SETU students last year. We asked them what exactly was it that they wanted to know or what did they wish they'd known earlier and all that kind of thing. And based on that, basically, we have developed an online program that covers eight topics. It's available through the website, which you'll see here on the left, or through um, Moodle for you guys in Waterford. Um, it's also available there. And basically, just to give you a quick overview, so the first week, and this is particularly good for class reps because in going forward, so the first week was like getting started. It was the very basics you need when you start college. And there's an overview of what help is there. So there's still some resources there that could be useful, although it's really primarily about getting started. The second topic is also would be very useful from a class rep point of view because it's kind of like a reference section. So at a glance, you can see who is available to help and what they can help you with. Um, so there's an overview, but then we give kind of very specific information on academic support, social, financial disability. We have interviews with guys from the SU, with lecturers, with students um, around their experience as well. So it's a really good kind of first port of call if you have a student who uh, asks you a question and you need an answer. Um, we then moved on. Week three is digital skills. So the first half of this is really focused on the um, on the uh, systems that are available within SETU, so uh, Moodle, um, Office 365 and Turnitin. But then the second half is really focused on apps that are available, that are available to everybody. They're free apps and they can help with things like reading and writing and productivity and focus and so on. So if you have a lot of reading to get through, there's tips around what can help you there. If you kind of tend to get stuck and procrastinate when you're doing a written assignment, there's apps that can help you there and so on. We then moved on to organization and time management. So when we were doing the research, we found that this was the thing that most students struggled with and that they wanted further advice on. So there's a couple of different strategies here around how to do it. Um, there's no right or wrong way. It's different ways depending on what way basically you work. Every week we also have a tech corner that has a particular app that helps with that topic. And then for this, uh, we also have downloadable templates that are really useful. And we have tips from other students. So we try to do that every week and either embed it in the program or put it out on our TikTok as well from students who've been there before. We then went on to study skills. So this was a topic that basically covered some of the skills that maybe didn't need a topic all of their own. So things like note taking, group work and presentations. Um, we What we do here is there's a few small questions, like literally three questions, so that you can see very quickly if you're going to get anything out of looking into this in more detail, or do you feel maybe you're already kind of accomplished in that area? Um, and then if you do look at it, you basically get an overview. And then what we do is we highlight the typical problems that can occur with that um, skill set. So things like, I don't know what to write down in class, or um, maybe in group work, somebody isn't pulling their weight and what do you do about that? Or presentations, a lot of the time anxiety can be a big issue. So we basically like picked common issues for each one and then we offer solutions for those um, as well. So we then moved on last week uh, was academic writing. So we're kind of getting into the, the kind of heavier topics now, I guess. There's a checklist there that basically when you have done your assignment, if you can check that checklist, it means that you've done it in a proper academic writing style. But what we then offer is basically samples of where things can go wrong, what needs to be moved from informal to formal phrasing and the types of academic writing. So you might be asked to write something analytically or critically and you might not be sure what the difference is. So again, it's like a really brief overview. It's not super in-depth. There's links out to the more in-depth information, but this is like at a glance, very quickly, you can get a sense of what you should be doing and whether you're going in the right direction with your work. We've moved on then this week, uh, this Wednesday, citations and referencing went out and last next week is our last topic, which is assessment. Um, we would love to hear from you guys. We have made videos specifically based on requests from students about things that they've struggled with. We have um, 
our social media channels that you can reach us through. Basically, what we do on Instagram is we put out little small pieces of content. So even if you never log into the program itself, um, you'll get information that way, like tips and tricks and things that, um, uh, like study hacks and stuff that can save you time. And then on our TikTok is mainly where we put our student videos and our student tips. But if you do go onto the program, either through the website or through the VLE, um, there's a, there's obviously additional content there. So if you see something that you think is helpful on the social media um, channels, then you'd be able to get the full information there. Um, at the moment, we're running a survey. It'll be closing very soon. Um, and even if you've never looked at help yet, we want to find out why or how we haven't reached you. So that's open to everyone. And there's a chance to win a 50 euro voucher. When you go on to the topic at the end of each topic, there's an evaluation form as well. And that also gives you the chance to um, win a 50 euro voucher uh, in a draw, basically, um, for both of those. It's like you'd be entered in a draw. So please do follow us uh, at SETU underscore TLC. And um, also on a Tuesday, we put out like um, it's a recorded discussion, but it goes out on YouTube live with the idea being that you can ask questions. So this week, for example, we have citations and referencing um being discussed and how to get information about assignments it's a really really useful discussion um and there'll be a chance to ask questions live so um that's it from me thanks for listening